Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to The Holler. Hey, today we're gonna be doing a new series that I plan on doing throughout the year to show you what to do with leftover barbecue. First up is pulled pork, and we're gonna make some baked beans. So stay tuned. Welcome back to another video, guys. Um, and this is a first video of a series I'm gonna be doing to give you ideas of what to do with leftover barbecue. Um, this will be a series throughout the year. So first up is pulled pork. What do we do with pulled pork? Well, today we're gonna be making some baked beans with it. And so our pulled pork, I've had it in the freezer. I've had it in this vacuum pack. This is one of the best ways to store barbecue. You can see, see all that? That's juice and stuff that you can freeze along with it. And then to heat it back up, we're just going to place the whole bag into boiling water. And it will basically uh, heat itself back up. And when you cut it open, it'll be almost like the day that you cooked it. So we'll go ahead and let this get going and we'll start getting our beans ready. All right, the first ingredient for our beans is going to be just a can of pork and beans. The whole thing. Next, a can of kidney beans and I did uh, drain these. A can of pinto beans, also drained. And this is a small green and a small red bell pepper along with a, a whole onion chopped up. Then this is a half pound of uh, thick cooked um, chopped bacon. About a cup of uh, brown sugar. I don't have this packed too tight. Um, about a cup. And then about a half to three quarter cups of uh, your favorite barbecue sauce. Then let's go ahead and mix that up. All right, next I got two cups of that pulled pork that we've been heating up in that vacuum bag. You can add more or less here. Um, basically, it's how, how much ever you want to add to it. I just don't want a ton in there. It's got the bacon already. And this is gonna be good. All right, next let's just season it up a little bit. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is my SPGO, so salt, pepper, garlic, onion. Um, just, a, just a little bit to season it up. And then, whatever your favorite rub is, maybe about a tablespoonful. That's good enough. All right, let's give it a stir. And this is gonna be fairly thick to start off with. Um, once it starts cooking, the vegetables that have, they have, you know, they have water in there, that's gonna naturally come out. And it's going to start liquefying a little bit. And then we'll, we're gonna start by uncovered. And then we'll cover it up. And we'll keep checking on it, and if we need to add some liquid in, we'll add some, but most likely we'll, we won't have to add anything. All right, let's uh, go get it on the smoker. All right, we got the silverback fired up to about 250 degrees. Now we're shooting for between a two to two and a half hour cook here. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get it on. Just gonna put it directly in the middle, um, uncovered. And we're gonna go let that go for maybe an hour. Then we're gonna come out and check on it and most likely put the lid on it. So we'll see you then. All right guys, it's been about an hour now. I'm just going to give it a stir. I'm really starting to smell these uh, peppers and onions in this. Now that's all the smoke we're worried about putting on it. So let's go ahead and get it covered now. So we'll leave it covered until it's done. And what we're looking for is basically to soften up those peppers and onions. Everything else that it's cooked, you don't really have to worry about too much. We just want those uh, peppers and onions to cook. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, it's been just a little bit over two hours. Um, and these things are done. I actually tried some of the, uh, did a little bit of taste test a little bit ago, and the uh, peppers were uh, starting to to uh, soften up. So I'm going to go ahead and call these good. Let's go ahead and get them off, and then we'll talk about it. All right, guys, these beans are done. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. As you can see, they got plenty of liquid in them. I didn't have to add anything to them. Um, just all the ingredients itself just has uh, enough moisture in there to uh, to put quite a bit of liquid in there. And I don't want it to be real soupy, so I want it to be thicker anyways. So let's go ahead and talk about what we did. So after we got everything mixed in here, we actually cooked this on 250 degrees. I forgot to mention that I did cook this with uh, hickory, cherry, and pecan mixture it's something that I always do um, it's it's a it's a mix that I like in this one I've been sticking with so to further notice that's what I'm using and these are actually about to go up to a barbecue that I'm about to go to so before let's uh, actually go ahead and give this a taste test that's pretty hot so bear with me here You can see you got good good chunks of uh, the peppers and the onions, beans, you got your pulled pork. They're definitely hot, and let me tell you what, they're definitely good too. If you're just used to popping a can and putting them in, these are, these are on a different level, guys. You got to make your own. And as you can see, this is an excellent use for leftover pulled pork. Um, this is gonna bake a, basically a meal in itself. All right, guys. So well, I got to get to a barbecue, so that's it for our baked beans recipe. As always, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and always holler back.